everyone, my name is Katie, Community Programmer with the Greater Sudbury Public Library, and today I'm going to be sharing a story with you that I love. It's called Sky Color. We're going to follow that up with an activity, so stick around until the end of the video. But before we get started, I want to know what color is the sky in your neighborhood today? If you look behind me, you'll see that my sky is white. Feel free to drop a picture of the sky in your neighborhood or some describing words in the comments below and that's a place where you can also share your completed activity later on today. So let's get started. Sky Color by Peter H. Reynolds Read with permission by Candlewick Press Marisol was an artist. She loved to draw and paint, and she even had her very own art gallery. Not all her art hung in a gallery. Much of it she shared with the world. She painted posters to share ideas she believed in. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everybody was an artist. Yes, Marisol was an artist through and through. So when her teacher told the class they were going to paint a mural for the library, Marisol couldn't wait to begin. The classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. The students talked and sketched, Together, they made a great big drawing. Then they marched to the library. I'll paint a fish. I'll paint one too. I'll paint the ocean. Marisol shouted, I'll paint the sky. Marisol rummaged through the box of paint, but could not find any blue. How am I going to make the sky without blue paint? The bell rang. It was time to put their brushes down for the day. As she climbed aboard the bus, Marisol kept wondering. All the way home, she stared out the window. The sun lowered closer to the horizon. Later at home, Marisol watched day turn into night. That night, Marisol settled into a deep dream. She drifted through a sky swirling with colors. The colors mixed, making too many to count. In the morning, Marisol stood waiting for the bus in the rain. The sky was not blue. She smiled. At school, Marisol raced to the library. She grabbed a dish and began adding colors. This one, that one. She swirled the brush to make an altogether new color. Marisol then began painting on the wall. A boy asked, what color is that? That, Marisol said, that is sky color. So for this activity, you will need paper, art supplies such as pencil crayons, paint, paintbrushes, crayons, markers, pastels, or whatever you have on hand. And you might also want to use a ruler. Finally, you'll need a window and a way to tell time. You're going to come up with your own palette of sky colors. I'm going to suggest that you observe and record what you're seeing in the sky over the course of a day, but 
Of course, you can use this tracking method over a few hours, days, weeks, and so on. First things first, draw yourself some boxes on your paper. Next, decide what time of day you're going to look out the window or go outside to draw or paint the color of the sky. You can write those times in the boxes to keep on track. Finally, the fun part. Using whatever you have on hand, draw a picture of the sky in your boxes below. Don't be afraid to get creative and really exaggerate the colors you see. Look for interesting lines, shapes, and textures made by light and clouds and try to translate those into your drawings. Repeat these drawings as often as you like and ta-da! you will have a palette of sky colors unique to your neighborhood.